Oh yeah, and did I mention that Transformers 2 really sucked? I know some of you are wondering why, why did you fucking go to the movie if it sucks so much. Well, essentially, my mom paid for it. It was 90 bajillion degrees in my apartment, and uh, I had no money, and, and I just decided to go, to get out of my apartment. Free movie, free popcorn, uh, air conditioning, and all of that. So I just said, hell with it, I'll go. Um, just to see how bad it was. And it occurred to me while I was watching the Amazing Atheist video about it that this movie may have maybe the greatest movie of all time because it would succeed in uniting all of humanity against it. Like, you know, there's some some crazy terrorist person and they got these these prisoners and they're like Shut up, you infidel! We have nothing in common! You come from America! America where Michael Bay makes fucking shitty movies like Transformers! So I fucking behead you, you goddamn infidel! And they're like, you, you know what? You're right, I hated Transformers too as well! Ugh. Maybe we have something in common after all! Yeah, and, and that that fucking scene with Megan Fox where she stood over him and said, No, I don't want you to die! Oh yeah, that was garbage. That was total fucking bullshit. Yes, we do have something in common then. You're not so bad, America. And then world peace blossoms. <laughs> like, this movie is so bad, it may actually fucking succeed in doing that. <laughs> like... <laughs> it was already mentioned, but there's a scene towards the end where he dies, where Shia LaBeouf dies and goes to robot heaven, and, and Megan Fox is, like, it's not just that she's standing over him, but, like, she's standing over him going, like, no, you can't die, but, like, the acting was terrible, and the scene was so fucking cliche, it was so bad, I swear to God, it fucking hurt to watch, I was like, Oh, I, I'm not even. I'm not even exaggerating. I was literally like, oh, like slouched over to the side of my chair, like I can't fucking take it. And the, the part where <laughs> they're talking, about, you know, like the big, uh, you know, uh, the fallen one or whatever, where they're supposed to have this big fight sequence, right? It's towards the end of the movie, and I had too much soda, and I really got a piss, and I'm like, I don't even care, you know, I'm gonna walk out, because it's gonna be, it's the it's the big fight scene, and it's still gonna be going on, you know, uh, in two minutes. It doesn't take that long to, you know, go take a piss when you're at the movies and stuff. And I walk out, I go to the bathroom, I come back, and the whole fight's already over! I could not have been gone more than a minute or two at most in the whole big fight that was the climactic fight scene between Optimus Prime and the Fallen One was over in the time it took me to go take a piss. Um, none of their jokes worked. It was all completely... Oh, it was like aggravating cliches and this like this stupid humor just everything about this movie failed and it failed spectacularly and like it's only redeeming quality I can imagine as if it like fucking unites humanity against it but sadly you know I pretty much lost most if not all of my respect for humanity's you know artistic taste and discernment for all the people that love this movie this movie's great Transformers 2 awesome summer blockbuster with Megan Fox it's so fucking cool like no it's so fucking bad it's really bad but yeah um I posted a link on my blog with this writer who's like pointing out all of these plot holes. Like they're at the Smithsonian and, and one of the, like they're chasing this transformer that goes out this back door and suddenly they're like in Southern California. Gee, I thought that Washington DC was this little like part of America in between Virginia and Maryland, but apparently it's out in the, the Southwest, you know? It, ah, uh, so many, so many things. Uh, it, it just has so many plot holes. Its jokes are stupid. Like, it, it, uh, it really has, it, 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 here's the thing. It is a giant fucking commercial for the military. 
it is one big like you you expect them to like the style the way they shoot the aircraft carrier is uh, you know and, and like all these things is right out of a fucking military commercial it's like you you expect the you know Optimus Prime to be like you know fourth wall towards the camera and be like you know only you can join the military blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's just so bad it's so so bad like it hurts to watch and there's no and it's not even so bad it's good you know it's like it's just bad bad and, and it really has you really have to dig deep to find some redeeming quality about this movie <laughs> that's the only thing like the only redeeming quality I can think is that it's so fun to mock it and it's so fun to talk about just how fucking bad the movie was like that is its redeeming quality <laughs>